with the faith of a mustard seed, a man can accomplish great things. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> with the faith of a mustard seed, a man can accomplish great things. Welcome family, friends, loved ones, all those riding this eternal wave of everlasting Ahab with me. I thank you all for coming back over here just one more time. You didn't have to click this video, but something inside of you told you just to click. And because you did, I am everlastingly gratefully thankful for you. Even if you come with unscrupulous energy, I'm also thankful for you to be here. I welcome all. This channel is for those seeking to be at the mountain, but we're here with those in the field as well. So I thank the Almighty for you being over here with us. I thank you for loving yourself so much to want to be here. Before we get started, I want everyone under the sound of my voice to take a big, deep breath with me. All right, now I think we're ready to get started. So as you can tell from the title of the video, we'll be talking about something called Salvadora Persica. Now, if you're like many out there, you're wondering, what the heck is this young man speaking about? Salvador Persica, what Salvador Persica, duh? <laughs> well, family, I'm speaking about um, something that we all know, or something that we, sh we should all begin to know, which is um, the mustard seed. Now, just like many other herbs, um, seeds, fruits, and vegetables that uh, the uh, Creator has put in here for His people to bask in, the mustard seed has been mentioned in many um, different ancient books for um, the healing of uh, the nation that needed it. And the mustard seed is very important because the mustard seed is a very small seed. But although it is small, when it fully matures, it yields <laughs> beautiful bounty of fruit. Shalakia, beautiful bounty of Harvest, if, if I can say that word right there. All right. Salvador Persica, or more commonly known as the mustard tree, is an attractive evergreen shrub. It is generally a small tree with a spreading, dense crown. It grows to about six or seven meters tall. Salvador Persica is a very useful tree, which serves multiple purposes. This tree is usually harvested from the wild, and it provides food, medicine, and other uses for the local community. The plant has a small, bell-shaped flowers followed by an aromatic fruits. The seeds are rich in volatile mustard oils, and it's believed that this plant is the one referred in the biblical parable of the mustard seed. Salvador Persica is usually cultivated in the tropics and subtropics where it is found at elevations up to 1800 meters. The plant prefers seasonally moist to wet soil in a sunny position. It prefers clay soil, but it is also found on sand, looms, and black soils. Although it rathers for its growing, environment to have a pH of 7 through 8, which is about slightly alkaline. This plant is so strong, so sturdy, it can tolerate pHs ranging from 6.5 through 8.5. It is generally a slow growing tree. Established plants are extremely drought resistant and tolerant of maritime wings <laughs> excuse me maritime winds <laughs> excuse me fam I just got so excited <laughs> but as you can see this uh, Salvador Persica this mustard seed is more than just a fruit, a vegetable, plant whatever you want to call it 
It's something that's deeper than that. And if we analyze it for not just the plant, but we look at it as a representation of us as a people and as individuals, we see and we can gather information that can help us on our path. Because although the plant rather is to be alkaline, although it rather is to grow in certain soil, because it know it has a purpose, it will grow wherever it's planted. Although this seed is the is one of the smallest among most fruit trees, because it has a purpose, it will grow anyway. But I ain't come here to preach to you, at least yet. <laughs> Let's get some more information. The leaves of the plant can be prepared in either salads or cooked and prepared in a sauce. A fat obtained from the seed is used as a substitute for vegetable butter. So all my people transitioning from the, you know, the modern American diet to the old paleo old time religion diet. You know what I'm saying? The diet that was rich with fruits and not just fruits. But um, but all sources that come from Adama, the earthly mother. The plant can also be used for gum and salt purposes. The burnt ashes of the leaves and fruit can be mashed and grinded in order to produce salt. The resin which it produces can also produce chewing gum. The plant has a bitter yet still aromatic feeling and taste. The actual fruit of the tree is described as sweet, agreeable, aromatic, slightly pungent, and has a peppery taste. The aromatic fruit can be eaten raw, dry like currants, made into a drink, or used as a substitute for mustard seeds. Because they are mustard seeds, they are one and the same, <laughs> for the most part. The round fruit is strongly flavored and juicy. It is pink to purple. And the fruit are about 10 millimeters across and it contains a single seed. Because the seed is tiny, a small quantity plants a large area. With 90 feet between the bases, a major league infield is 8,100 square feet. Less than two pounds of mustard seed would plant the entire infield. Here is where the crop is actually grown. Up to half a million acres of mustard are planted each year in the western Canadian provinces of Saskatchewan and Alberta. Canada is the largest mustard exporter in the world and the biggest customer is the United States. In this typical seeding outfit, the mustard seed, as well as dry fertilizer, are in separate compartments of the cart pulled behind the tractor. The seed and fertilizer are metered out in precise quantities and delivered in an airstream to the ground openers of the seeding implement. The small seeds need to be planted shallow into a firm seed bed. Has a wide range of medicinal and other everyday uses. The seeds are harvested when ripe and can be used freshly or dried. The fruits are pungent and bitter. They are used to improve the appetite and bowel functions and to regulate the menstrual cycle. The roots of the plant can be used to treat gonorrhea, spleen trouble, and general stomach aches for those who are having chest pains. The roots can be of great help to alleviate some of the discomfort which you are currently feeling or any of your other fam family members are feeling. The roots can also be pounded to heal boils. The wood of the tree also has packed a heavy, healthy punch. The bark and wood is harvested as required, then dried and powdered for later use. The wood also promotes healing. So if you have like a little scab or like a little cut, if you have some of the wood of this uh, Salvador Persica, it can also be helped to use, uh, speed up the, the healing of your, uh, of your wounds, sort of like what helichrism does. And I have another video on my channel about that. So if you want that information, just go check it out. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Which makes the latex from the bark great in treating sores. I want y'all to listen up to what I'm saying. Because there's someone out there who needs this information, who's dealing with some certain ailments out there that... Uh, if you do a little, little bit more research, you'll find out that this Salvador Persica that this young man is talking about right now can be of great help to you if you just listen. <laughs> just listen, just listen, just listen. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> <sighs> the latex from the bark is great in treating sores. Both the leaves and the bark can be used to destroy parasites. Both the leaves and the bark can be used to destroy parasites. Now, I don't care how healthy you think you are. I don't care if you've been plant-based for your entire life. I don't care if you stop eating meat. I don't care if you still eat meat. I don't care if you start eating uh, whatever uh, tickles your fancy. Trust and believe that we're all dealing with something that we have no understanding of. So we have to really sit back and relax and understand that the power that the Almighty, along with His help meets the earthly mother, has prepared for us can withstand anything that is already out there to work against us. So I'm going to repeat that last statement one last time. Both the leaves and the bark can be used to destroy parasites. Externally, the leaves are used to treat abscesses and swellings. <laughs> like, bro, y'all gotta understand what I'm saying right now. The leaves are an astringent, stimulant herb that is also a diuretic. Ex All right, this is this is a big kind of a big word, family. So so bear with me. Expectorant. There we go and depurative okay i like it mm, i like it depurative <laughs> i like that word if all these benefits weren't enough there's more <laughs> the plant is used to treat poisonous bites bruises and aids in oral hygiene okay i feel the need to to, to speak a little bit a little bit about that part so any real Dentist, not a dentist that spent all them years in, I'm saying, getting education, educated with uh, quote unquote in front of them and behind them. I'm talking about a real dentist will um, tell you that your real start of some of your main um, teeth issues or dental issues are starting with your liver and starting with your gut, your stomach. And unfortunately, a lot of our livers and guts and colons and spleens and kidneys were unfortunately clogged up because um, if the heavenly father and earthly mother they rest why can't his children decide to rest and so if we overwork ourselves um, that gives uh, space for um, unwanted entities to enter into your body because you have no rest to fight off any of these things and so um, the main cause of some of your oral issues are because you have a bad liver. Some of you, and because your uh, your colon is is is, blo is is backed up, you might have some fecal impaction, which I also have another video on this channel about. Go check that one out as well. And um, because you're backed up, and because your liver can't probably detox, um, the uh, the veins in your uh, in your vagus nerve, in your lymphatic system, um, they're all connected throughout every single part of your body. And because they're connected to every single part of your body, the, the veins that are literally connected to your livers are connected to your teeth. And so if the filtration system of your body is out of order, your teeth by nature are then going to be out of order as well. And one of those parasites that I was talking about in the beginning, or when I first started talking, um, candida, and also other parasites that live within your stomach, if these parasites aren't alleviated out of you, they can cause mmm. <laughs> they can put you in a world of pain. And um, I do this because I don't want you to feel any pain. Um, as I said, um, sometimes we have to get activated in a new way, a new mindset for us to bear new fruit f for those who we don't want anything to happen to. So we bear pain so you might not have to. And so that being said, let me get back to it. The plant is used internally for the treatments of colds, skin complaints, 
urinary problems, syphilis, intestinal parasites, bingo. I just said that. I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back of them, but listen up. Constipation, enlarged spleen, poor appetite, rheumatism, and arthritis. Now, family, if you don't run against some Salvador person <laughs> or some mustard seeds or something, man, like, all praises due to the Heavenly Father, man. Um, and his lovely, and his lovely help me, the earthly mother. Um, it's really beautiful for all these, uh, all the power that all these herbs have for us. If we just pay attention, it'll pay attention to us. Anyway, Salvador persica is planted as a wind break to provide shelter for other crops. The plant itself can be grown as a hedge of protection for other crops and useful in reclaiming soils. <laughs> I hope y'all get what I'm saying. It's more than just a plant. It's a it's an example towards what you should be doing. The resin that drips from the tree is supposedly useful for making varnish. The wood is used for making fuel on coal and excuse me on charcoal. Moreover, the foul taste of the wood does not make it suitable for cooking with since the scent will taint the rest of the food. <laughs> it's most widely known and used as a toothbrush as well. So the resin, as I said in, the, in like three, four minutes ago as I've been talking, um, it's good for your oral health because it, it will go towards every single part of your body that your body needs it. So if your body needs it to get rid of those stomach parasites, it'll get rid of them. Your body needs to get rid of those teeth parasites, it'll get rid of them. Which, for those in the know, are both one in the same. Okay? Roots and small twigs are widely known and used as traditional toothbrushes. Toothbrushes are made from sections of the root by removing the bark from one and and then fraying the inner wood. This substance is excellent for oral hygiene. <laughs> there we go again. Get them teeth right. Um, and the root is then chewed and applied to the teeth and gums. <sighs> family, 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 family. <laughs> I really hope y'all getting it. I really hope y'all getting it. Um, you see, when we when we speak about um, things like these, it's more than just on the physical plane that um, we speak about these uh, substances on, like Salvador Persica, the mustard seed. And the scripture goes, um, with the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Um, and uh, it's a lot of us who are on the journey of health right now at the moment, or trying to get on journey of health right now at the moment. And uh, as you're on this journey, um, a lot of times you feel like you lack faith. A lot of times you feel like uh, that you see no end to the road. And uh, that's because, you know, when you see with the eyes that man see, you, uh, you just see yourself getting skinny. You just see yourself looking frail, quote unquote, looking frail, but you won't see what's happening on your inside. You won't see how your body, how your spirit, how your mental acuity is moving and shifting in new ways and new forms to help produce new fruits with inside of you. And so with this faith that you're renewing within yourself, you'll be able to bring new ideas, new thoughts, and new ways of manifestation onto your own self. Now, we've went over many things that the mustard seed, or rather Salvador Persica, can do. Now, as I said, Salvador Persica is an example for what you should be doing as a whole and as individuals for yourself. We went over how Salvador Persica is a hedge of protection for other trees, fruits, vegetables, and even animals that are growing around it. 
We mentioned how Salvador Persica, although it prefers alkaline, quote unquote alkaline soil, which is about seven, it can grow on 6.5 through 8.5 pH soil. We mentioned how Salvador Persica, although it's the smallest of the seeds and only grows one seed per time, <laughs> when, it, when that one seed begins to bear fruit, Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> the nation can eat off that one seed. And so I state this comment to you. You see the example that's being set for you. Now what will you do for yourself? Will you be a hedge of protection for those around you seeking shelter? Although you are thrown in a situation where you don't want to be in, will you still grow? Although you feel like there's just one of you, will you still manifest thoughts, actions, and words which will bring other people up to a new plateau which they've, which they've never been? Will you cast out the parasites? Out of your own mouths and out of your own minds and out of your own stomachs? Will you allow faith to reign deep inside of you? As I said, I'm not here to preach to nobody. I just wanna be here to talk about my <laughs> talk about what I like. <laughs> now this would be a channel more on uh, many things, but for right now, these videos that me pumping out, the vi these videos that we are going to be pumping out, excuse me, because it's not just one person over here, it's a movement over here, it's a team over here, um, that, that we will be pumping out over here will be for the, um, the hedge of protection, quote unquote, <laughs> um, for the ones that we'll be fishing for. And so with that being said, family, hope you're having a beautiful day, hope the birds are chirping where you are. I hope whether or not you're having a rough week, a rough time doing whatever you're doing, I hope that you're not losing faith within yourself. And I thank you for coming over here with me and I leave you with the breath as I started with you in. Peace.